and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is another episode in Thrifty Thursday. So I am going to be um, telling you about what we're going to do this week. Um, we decided to use a paper pad, bows and bling. Now I don't have many bows but I've got these from Willow Lane. They're sort of these tassel bows. And then these little cute clips from Bella Boulevard that I thought, um, well, they've got little felt bows on. So I'm, that, that's going to be my, <laughs> the extent of the bows that I'm going to be using. Um, the paper pad I'm going to be using is a Die Cuts with a View paper pad. It's called Birds and Butterflies. And it is gorgeous. Um, there's very bright colors. The, 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 I mean, the, you have these pages that are basically already done for you that you just have to add your photo and then some embellishments. I also like the tone on tone papers that's in this pad that you can use for, for layering. Um, this is a sweet color part with all the um, uh, border strips on that's also really cute and then you've got another color part as well. Um, see all these beautiful pages with the birds they just gorgeous and it's lovely I think this would be beautiful as a girl's album um, <clears throat> so this is one of the cutter parts that um, that you have and I've already cut one of these cutter parts out so um, another bit that I've cut out or cut into so far is uh, this uh, page of butterflies so I've just cut out these teeny tiny little butterflies and um, as you can see lots of tone on tone papers and then you get the very colorful um, papers with the birds. So this is the paper pad I'm going to be using. And then the third element that we have to use is bling. Now I have this big box of bling and it's all bling. All little blingy dots and they all have adhesive at the back. I went crazy at a stage and every time I saw bling in a shop I would buy it regardless of whether I have it or not I would just buy it I mean I have a gazillion of these pearl you know these half pearl uh, blings here's some big pearls um, so I have lots of bling that I can use and lots of bling I have to get through um, so if you like to see me use some more bling on layouts please let us know and um, as you can see I have a lot of bling that I can use on layouts <laughs> so let me get to today's layout and I'll put you on fast forward and I'll take you through my process okay so first things first I am choosing a paper and when I saw this paper uh, from the paper bird I just fell in love with it uh, all the colors are gorgeous I love the green of the leaves and the two little birds at the bottom there with a the little heart I just adore that so what I'm going to be doing is I'm using this photo of my three older children and it's an Instax um, instant uh, photo excuse me and um, it's from years and years I think that was still from 2014 and um, yeah so Emma was about two and a half maybe three I don't think she was three yet so um, yeah she's pulling a little face there <laughs> with her hands making like she's praying so um, very funny little girl and the two boys are just having some fun on the couch there I think uh, well on, in the car at least um, I think we were on our way um, to to a play place or um, like to a museum or something I think um, that day so you see what I'm doing here is I am taking my bling and I am um, cutting up the little strips now this bling it's sort of like strips of adhesive with bling on top so I have to cut each little piece of bling from the next little piece of bling so I've just got my exacto knife or my craft knife there and I am cutting each little piece of bling from the next little piece of bling and um, you see that I'm trying to color match the blings to the um, to the centers of the little flowers that I'm putting the, the little rhinestones on and um, I am going to be adding a lot more rhinestones in the end but that you'll see in the end 
So this is the cut apart sheet that I had already cut apart and I did this months ago. I wanted to do a layout with this months ago, but I just, I, I didn't feel it. So I didn't complete it. But for today, I thought I'm going to go through the little bits that I had already cut out and I'm just going to layer them as little pieces of ephemera on my, in and around my photo at least. And those little butterflies are also from that other sheet with a gazillion of little butterflies on it. So um, I don't, I'm not sure what you'd use that sheet with the lots of butterflies on. But anyway, I cut some of them out. And they're working quite beautifully with with this layout. Now you might say that this layout is very girly and with the pink flowers and the butterflies and you know I'm scrapping my boys as well as my um, girl but um, I, I don't um, I'm not bothered really with um, gender specific scrapping. Um, I, I know that uh, as the kids get older I might just has, have to adopt a little bit more of a masculine um, style when I scrap my boys um, but I really don't have issues putting flowers and, and things like that on layouts where my boys are at so I'm really um, I'm not bothered with this so if it bothers you I'm so sorry <laughs> but you know you don't have to look at this for too much longer um, anyway so shame I was uh, I've been thinking about um, something the last couple of days and it's you know it's bothering me um i've got a wonderful friend um and she also has youtube videos um uh and she's been getting a lot of dislikes lately and um you know we had a conversation the other day and it's you know it why do people dislike videos um especially something as personal as scrapbooking um you know we we share our processes with you in, in, in trying to give you, you know, ideas and trying to inspire you to use your stash and to use, you know, um, different, um, you know, just to give you ideas of what, what you can do. And, um, you know, there, there, there are lots of YouTube videos that I've watched, um, process videos of scrapbooking that I really don't like. I mean, scrapbookers that I love that I follow and I watch every single video and there's lots of times where I'm really not in love with the layout that they make um but I don't go as far as disliking the video or or writing a nasty comment on the you know comments line about you know this pathetic layout or you know and this poor friend of mine has been getting so many dislikes and I'm wondering what are your guys thoughts on it and do you guys um are you guys fine with um you know hitting that dislike button or are you guys where i'm at where you know you know this person has worked really hard and for this person this might be a beautiful layout and who am i to judge and say oh i don't like this i'm gonna give it a thumbs down um you know where are you guys where are you at with with giving thumbs down um it's quite you know um it's quite nasty i think you know, especially, um, you know, if you go through the videos and you just keep on disliking every single video. Um, I think, yeah, I think um, I have received dislikes. I mean, I've, I've received lots of dislikes and I try not to let them affect me. Um, but if you have one video and you get like 20 dislikes on it, <laughs> you know, it, it gets to you. I must say it's, it's, it's very discouraging. Um, that is why I always tell you guys at the end of my videos how awesome you are and how you know um encouraging you guys all are and um how i love sharing my videos videos and my layouts and my scrappy photos with you and um but it does you know it if you look on the 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 converse side of it um with with the negative you know and and i do get it you know if you want to put yourself out there you must be willing to you know take the good with the bad i get that i totally get that but you know there is there's a limit <laughs> there's a limit to 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 what we all i think can cope with emotionally and i think if you've got like one or two videos and they just generate like like 20 30 dislikes i think that's that's a bit hectic hey especially if you all of a sudden over one night get a dislike on every single one of your videos then you sort of think hmm <laughs> does somebody have it in for me or something but anyway as you can see i have going through my maggie holmes sticker book 
and I'm just um, taking some of the stickers and you know the and uh, my title will be lovely adventure and that is it for this week I will leave a link down below to Becky's video please hop on over and check her out see you again soon bye